Hello, grade one students. Today we're going to be working on our good copies of our Ted Harrison landscape artwork. And I wanted to start off by just showing you a little bit of the practice drawings that I did. First, I did lines in pencil. And in my lines, I included a horizon line, which is the center line. I included a sun and I included other lines that might be mountains, a sunset, blue skies, grassy area, or a lake or water body. So I was thinking of those things when I was doing my lines and how I wanted to include them. And I practiced three times. My first time I did it in pencil and then I'm going to erase this. Um, and then I found one that I liked. I did this one and I really liked that one. So I started my good copy. So my good copy papers here, I did it in pencil. I started with my horizon line and now I'm gonna go over it in black Sharpie. And you can see for this one, I kind of did my horizon lines around the outside of my sun as opposed to doing it on top of my sun, which you can do either way. And I'm going slow, I don't wanna rush this because I wanna kind of stay on my pencil lines the best I can. But it's okay if it's not perfect because we're gonna wait a few minutes and then we're going to erase our pencil lines. So now I've finished my erasing. I'm left with my black Sharpie lines. I erased everything nicely, dusted it off, put the little pieces off, shake it off if I want, clean my desk, and I'm ready to start. So the technique we're gonna use is just really just watercolor. Um, uh, water, washable markers, sorry, not watercolor. I'll show you afterwards. I kind of gave a little hint away. So we're gonna start with um, thinking about where we want everything to go. And I'm gonna start maybe on my top and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna pick my colors. I'm gonna start with some of my warm colors and I'm gonna start with this and I'm gonna start with my sun and we're gonna do our best to fill in in the area using our broad line markers uh, and doing our best. Staying within the lines is really important. And the best way to do that is to go slow. So now I'm going to start coloring it in and some of these markers don't work so well but that's okay. We're going to do our best and we're going to correct that afterwards. So I'm going to just use what I have here to the best and be careful not to go around. Um, and you may, I might use repeating colors but you may not need to. Can you use pink? I don't know. Is pink a warm or cool color? See, I carefully, I like to fill in, I'll go on the inside and then I'll carefully go on the outside here. And for this technique, it's going to be okay if you have a little white. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure you don't cross the line. And now I'm going to switch over to my mountain range. And I think I want it to be um, green trees. So I'm going to switch my warm colors for my cool colors. If I want, I can add purples too if I want. But I'm switching it up and I'm going to start my cool colors.
you can see um, I'm thinking about how I want it to look. I wanted my mountains to look like they were in the middle, they're green mountains. I wanted my horizon, my sunset to be on top. And I'm doing my ocean or lake or whatever you want it to be. You don't have to add this. You can just do land. You can do a blue sky and you can do green grass. It's up to you where you want to put your colors, but you want to think about how you want it to look. And you want it to, to separate the sky from the land. Okay, so we're just about done. And you can see that my markers are not working all the best. I can go back in and, and fix up some areas here. So I want you just to check and make sure that you did do your best. And then we're going to start our next technique. Okay, so the next thing we're going to have to do is we are going to carefully take a black crayon. Now mine broke a little bit, so I'm going to just use what I can. And you are going to carefully go over your black lines with your black crayon. Carefully. You don't want to go around too much, but you want to try to do your best. And you don't want to press too hard, but hard enough so you don't break it because these break easily. And it's okay if the line's a little thicker, but try and follow as exact as you can. Just remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want to try and go slow so you can follow the lines as, as exactly as you can, okay? So remember, going slow is a great idea. Don't rush. Our next step is going to be something totally different. So remember I said not to worry about the markers and what they look like? Um, it didn't have to be perfect if some of them were a little bit running out or whatever, there was missing spots. This is how we're going to fix that. And you have to watch and see what I'm doing first before you start because you don't want to uh, rush this part specifically. And my paper is starting to curl a little bit depending on the paper that you're using. Uh, it will curl a little bit. And do you know why? Because these markers say washable. And when a marker says washable, it means it's made with water, more water than ink. So we can now correct our little spaces in here using a little bit of water and a paintbrush as if we're painting to correct those areas. And I'm going to show you how. So all I'm going to do is I have a little cup of water. It's really not a lot of water. I don't need to fill it up just a little bit. I have a tissue or paper towel and a brush. You're just going to dab, a, get a little bit of water on your brush, a little bit. And you can start at the topper in one color section. And you can just go over and fill in those colors. Because adding a little water will spread the color around. And I can just take another little bit and do this section here. And that is why we use just a little bit. You don't want to add too much water because if you add too much water, it's going to get everywhere. But you're just kind of filling it in with this really cool technique. Just a little bit of water and spread it around. And you can fill in all those white areas. Now when you switch colors, and you change over to another color. See how beautiful that came out? You're going to clean your brush, get rid of that color, wipe it off, and start again. So that way you don't get the same color. When this water starts to get 
very uh, dirty looking and not so clear, you can switch the water. Try and make sure that your area, your desk area is clean when you do this, so you have room to do that. And also make sure before you start that you take off any of the, the crayon. And the reason we do crayon is because crayon is made from oil and wax, so it repels it keeps the water out. So that's why if we just had black marker, regular marker, it would all mix together. That's why we also use Sharpies because Sharpies are not water-based. They do not leak with water. So going over it with crayon separates the colors. The water uh, can't get through. And now I'm going to finish coloring the rest. And sometimes if one area isn't dry, you maybe want to skip an area to let it dry. So especially with this red and green, I don't want that to mix. So I'm going to finish with the red and then I'm going to skip over the green and do another color because I don't want to take any chances of having any of the wet red color uh, go into the green. Now I'm going to go back here to this green area in between the red because the red's dry now and I'm going to carefully not go to the red because you can make that turn a little bit brown. So that's where we have to be careful is when we switch that area, that horizon, horizon line where we switch from our warm to cool colors. We want to make sure that we go very carefully around that line. And notice how I use my brush. I never use my brush like this, ever. I use my brush on the side. That's how you paint. But you pull in color. Paint is moving color around. So you hold your brush and you, oops, and you pull the paint, okay? You don't do it like this. You gently pull paint across, okay? down here there we go and I think that we are oh I used a little too much water over here so you can see what's happening so I can go back without water and just spread that around okay and remember change the water uh, rinse your brush use the paper towel if you have too much water um, there's a little spot here red that I want to fix Always go back in here. And there we have it. That is the first part of our project. Next part, we will add detail. Great job, everyone.